Hello everybody, I'm Glenn and this is Eugene. Hello. Join us on a tour into this landed home that captures the essence of modern luxury. We're so excited to show you this project. Let's go. So where we're standing right now is actually the basement of this landed home. It was too big for a car park for our homeowner and actually we converted half of it into a gym, hidden storage and also a hidden toilet. And what we have on my right is actually a whole stretch of storage which our owner has found many uses for it. And the very cool fact is that this here is the hidden bathroom. And now for one of the highlights of this place, let me take you to the gym. Since on the other side, we have a full stretch of storage, on this side of the basement, we actually use the full height ceiling that we have here for a fully functioning gym. Right here, it's enough to store a full rack, a bench, a dumbbell rack, and actually a full size fat meal. And if privacy is needed, we've actually also installed blackout blinds for our client. So right here, we are actually at the living area. In this space, we did a lot of interior design enhancement, where behind me, this is actually the full TV console that fits a 75-inch television. This space, we fully utilize it as it's very good for family gatherings, for teleconferencing, and even just simply to hang out and to chill. When talking about interior designing, it's not always about full renovations. In this case, we actually utilize small elements to enhance what our client already had in this area. And one last thing I really love about this place is actually this gigantic entrance that leads into the main front terrace. So come with me to the master bedroom. Over here in this space, we actually created a new walk-in wardrobe for our client. And at the same time, we refurbish and redo some of the carpentry that the developer has already made. Moving into the main area of the master bedroom, we actually split this space into two. One side is for a cozy area where he can sleep and rest and the other side is for him to do some work which also is an area that leads into the main bathroom. Moving up to the third floor, we created and extended the roofing area at the balcony. This is to create a lifestyle corner for our homeowner to relax with a view. Eugene, what is your favourite part of this project? My personal favourite would be the gym area. I always love my own personal space. When you're stressed out, it's a place that you can cool off, focus, think. And the gym does just that. I think it's really, really well done. My favourite part of this project was the corridor, as well as the walking wardrobe. I really love how long and minimal the corridor is. 
I think in a big home like this, it's very important because if we don't have walkways like this, we don't have space like this, the house can actually look either very empty or very overcluttered. What about the inspiration behind this project? Because we are mainly doing design enhancement to suit the homeowner and at the same time to be in sync with what the developers had envisioned in the first place. So for us, I think it was a lot about understanding the concept and then to understand what our clients need and then come out something that makes sense for him. There's bound to be many challenges while you're doing this project. Is there any challenge that stood out the most? I feel for a project like this, one of the challenges is the managing of vendors. Because there's many people involved in this place and when you gather many people like that, there are bound to be issues. One of the more challenging areas to build up was the basement gym. Because there were multiple vendors in a small area and we had to coordinate such that the colour scheme, the type of material used, they all match. Thank you Eugene for showing me this space. I think it's amazing. We have come to the end of our tour. Remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.